This video will show you how to give a subcutaneous or sub-Q injection. Subcutaneous means below the skin. To give a subcutaneous injection, you stick a small needle into the fatty tissue just below the skin and inject the medicine there. Subcutaneous injections are used for all sorts of health problems. You withdraw the medicine you need from the vial each time you give yourself an injection. Even the medicine can come in different forms. Most of the time, the medicine comes in liquid form. Sometimes, however, the medicine comes as a powder. This has to be mixed with a liquid, such as saline or distilled water, before you can use it. If your medicine needs to be kept in the refrigerator, it's a good idea to let it come up to room temperature before giving yourself the injection. The injection might be more painful if the medicine is cold. Start by washing your hands with soap and warm water. Before giving the injection, check your supplies to make sure you have everything you need. You'll need alcohol pads or cotton swabs dipped in rubbing alcohol, a disposable syringe, the vial of medicine you'll be using, adhesive bandages, and a container to safely get rid of the used syringe. Sub-Q injections can be given in different places like the upper arm, upper thigh, outer hip, or the abdomen. It's important to avoid giving the injection in the exact same spot every time. You should avoid injecting any spot that's bruised, tender, or scarred. The syringe is made of three basic parts, a barrel, a plunger, and a needle. The barrel has markings on the side. These help you measure the right dose. Insulin syringes, like this one, are normally marked in units. Other syringes may be marked in milliliters. Your doctor, nurse, or pharmacist will show you how to use the markings on the syringe you have. Check the expiration date on your medicine. If you have a new vial, it may come with a plastic cap. Pop that off first, then wipe the top of the vial with an alcohol pad or swab and let it dry for a few seconds. Next, take the cap off the plunger. Now draw air into the syringe by pulling the plunger back to the prescribed unit mark. Then very carefully uncap the syringe and set the cap aside. Now stick the needle through the top of the vial. Flip the needle and vial over and inject the air into the vial by slowly pushing the plunger all the way in. Now slowly pull the plunger back down to the prescribed unit mark. Make sure the needle is under the surface of the medicine. If you notice any large air bubbles in the barrel of the syringe, you need to remove them. You do this by pushing the plunger in again, sending the medicine back into the vial. Then you slowly draw the right amount out once more. Clean the skin with an alcohol swab. Grab a pinch of skin between the thumb and forefinger of your other hand. Position the needle so it's pointing straight at the skin. With a firm, smooth motion, push the needle through the skin into the space between the skin and the muscle below. Shift your thumb to the plunger and slowly push it all the way in. Count to three to make sure that the syringe is completely empty. Then pull the needle straight out. Put the used syringe into a sharps container. It's easy to put needles in and hard for them to fall out. If you don't have a ready-made sharps container, you can make one using a jar or bottle made of stiff plastic with a screw-on cap. One example is a detergent bottle. Label it very clearly as dangerous. Anyone who sees it will know to leave it alone. You should keep the container in a safe place out of reach of children and pets. If your medicine needs to be refrigerated, be sure to put it back in the refrigerator. Everything else can be thrown out normally. Subcutaneous injections may seem scary, but as you've just seen, you only need to follow a few simple steps.